What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this mono green stompy list. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have very good luck uh, in game one. Uh, we got mana screwed like twice in a row. Uh, and then the first game, unfortunately, we just got outpowered by a uh, gruel aggressive deck. So hopefully we can do some better, some, have some better games this time around. And this is the hand we keep having, which is two lands and a bunch of stuff. So let's see if we can get it. But uh, like, we don't need a ton of lands, we just need, like, four, um, and we'd be set, but unfortunately we're just not getting there. Uh, thankfully we do have the Paradise Druid to hopefully help us with that, um, and Pelt Collector is a phenomenal start, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully, like I said, uh, in video one, everybody had a fun and safe weekend, uh, if you were away, or, or if you're in the U.S. and you celebrated Fourth of July, I hope you had a good time, um, like I said in the first one, we just kind of hung out with the family and did some chill stuff, which was great. So, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, we'll go ahead and get Scavenging Ooze down. Chances are this is a uh, discard-focused deck, so they're probably going to have things like Croxa and stuff like that. So we're going to end up having to discard a little bit here. Um, but we'll see. Looks like Mardu. That's interesting. Um, let's do this. Um, we'll attack in, see what they do. Okay. And we'll try and go for for this. We're really kind of over committing a little bit here, so there is a chance that we just die to a sweeper. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, and that's, you know, not great, but it is what it is. Uh, we do get to go ahead and Vivian. Um, just realized I don't think this deck had a sideboard. Um, which is not necessarily great with Vivian, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, and this was just a product of me overcommitting, so that was actually a mistake on my end, but uh, that's nice at least. Let's go ahead and pop a couple counters on here. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Pack, and we'll play our land. All right, let's see what we're going to do. Um, I mean, good news is we've been very aggressive. Sure, makes sense. Um, oof, if only. Um, like, part of me wants to minus because I don't remember if we have a sideboard. Um, let's see, first of all, what's in their graveyard? Let's do this. Uh, let's actually eat stuff out of our own graveyard here, uh, just so we can gain a life and get a counter here. Um, go ahead and eat a scavenging ooze. Uh, and do this. Here we're gonna take the shatter. Um, we now have lethal, easily have lethal, so that's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and submit two onto Scavenging Ooze. This is just a very good threat that they've got to deal with now. Um, and if they can't, then that's a problem. And that's the, the great thing about Scavenging Ooze. Obviously a new card from Corset 2021. It just does so much. Um, and in a position like this, uh, it's, a, it's a big problem. Let's see if we even have a sideboard. I don't think we do. Oh, we do. Oh, look at there. Um, yes, this wins us the game, theoretically. Activate. Let's give it haste. Alright. Yeah! Cool. Well, I didn't go through the sideboard, uh, so I apologize, but we got there. Uh, so thankfully we did get a win. I uh, really, really like Vivian, um, just in general. I like. I think we, we've got two Vivians in this deck, and I love both of them. They're really, really good, in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two and see if we can get another win. Uh, I do really like this deck when it works. Mono Green Stompy in general just feels really, really nice uh, when you can get it to work. Um, sometimes it's a bit tricky, uh, just if you don't get lands. But thankfully, that time we did, and it paid off. So let's see if we can do it again. Um, lots of three drops, my goodness. Um, huh? Do we keep this is a good question. Um, let's try it. It's interesting, there's a lot of built-in, like, just random protection uh, with this deck. Um, it's kind of strange. Pelt Collector is great. Uh, because, like, this, for instance, Hexproof from Black. Like, obviously just random upside. If you're against a mono black deck, great. 
the stone coil serpent obviously pro multicolor kind of the same thing like it's just random upside um and there's a lot of that in this list so i think that that's kind of interesting um i'm doing this now to go ahead and get in with this and we've got quite a number of three drops here uh and so i think you know we're gonna lean on those stone coil serpent very good but we're not gonna worry about it quite uh or right this second excuse me oh uh, let's see let's do this uh and we can actually swing with both here this is pro multicolor so they can't block it uh and this trades so if they want to trade that's fine they get a pelt collector and we get their general which is like a huge huge card for them and this having pro black or excuse me hex proof from black just means you know we're we're in decent shape here um i don't think it's amazing but it's definitely not terrible um interesting do they attack though it doesn't look like it it can just be super aggressive. Uh, to be clear, I do believe they can still block this, but we're going to attack with everything. Just because this is a bit of a must-answer thing. Yeah, they can block it. I just want to make sure. Um, it just means they can't target it with a black spell, which is fine. Okay. We're just being super aggressive here, and that's it. Which is exactly what we want to do, so like that's fine. Um, but... Obviously, we do have to be a little worried about, like, if they've got ways to deal with everything, but it doesn't look like they do. Um, this connecting is really, really good for us. Uh, they get to finish questing Beast off. That's fine. Um, and then they get two hits with Judith. Um, but we get a Paradise Druid. <laughs> Woo! Man. Killing it. Um... <laughs> Worst things have happened, but at least we hit something. Uh, unfortunately, we've had bad luck with this deck in the last video, so... Pro Multicolor doesn't hit it. And Hexproof from Black. I don't think they can hit either of our creatures. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. Um, this is nice, because this is just going to keep us in the game a little bit. Let's go ahead and do this. And we get to draw a card. Look at there. Uh, pro multicolor is like stupid good. Um, I'm perfectly fine trading this off here. Um, we're just keeping them in a very threatened position because the reality is now we just get to play a bunch of really strong stuff and there's not a ton that they can do about it. Uh, let's do this. What does this have? Protection from each converted mana cost other than four. So we need to do this. Oops. Excuse me. This. Here. Um, this gives us a four converted mana cost spell, uh, which is important. Um, there we go. Vivian, huh? Um, Vivian's very good. We're going to hold back this turn. Um, this is super strong. I don't want to give them too many opportunities to really start taking over, but Vivian next turn means that we've got ways to, to kind of deal with this. Now, this is a human, so not going to trigger Winota, um, which is very crucial. Let's go ahead and pass. Um, these Winota decks are very, very good. The Mardu Winota deck uh, is kind of what culminated after Agent of Treachery's ban. Um, super, super strong. Like, really, really strong. Uh, very much enjoy the deck, but... Um, and I'm gonna take six here. It's fine. Uh, doesn't trigger Winota, so I don't really care. Let's go ahead and get Vivian down. We gain two life with the, uh... Alright, so what do we want to do? Um, let's just hit this. Let's get Winota out of there. Let's play Thrashing Brontodon. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Uh, if only we could attack with it. I'm just going to attack with everything. <laughs> um, we're kind of in a position at this point where we just need to finish out the game. Um, they don't have their engine piece now. Uh, they can deal a good bit of damage with um, Actos. Actos is stupid good, but yeah, this just finishes it off. Sweet! Two. 
two wins. I am perfectly happy with that. Let's jump into our final game with this deck and then we'll kind of sum up our thoughts. I know these these two videos have been very, um, we'll say opposite so far. Uh, in, the, in the first one, we just got very unlucky. Um, uh, obviously, the first game I think might have just been bad place playing on my end, but I think the second two, we, we really did get unlucky on lands. We had two lands, both games, um, and that's it. It happens. You can't get too upset about it. It just kind of sucks. But uh, hopefully, um, doesn't look like we'll have that problem this time. But do we want to keep? I think we do. Um, it's not an amazing hand by any means, but we can go two, three, four if we would like, uh, or two, three, four depending on how things play out. Um, ooh, even better. Let's go with this first. Um, the Stone Coil Serpent, because it scales, it's better to hold on to that if you can. Um, not to say you always should, but it looks like we're against a control deck, um, potentially, which is just so fun. Go ahead and get Thrashing Gronadon down, and we'll attack in pursuit. All right. Let's see what they want to do. Get a 0-4 wall out. Killing it. Sure. It's very good. Um... Hmm. We're going to play Questing Beast, and we're going to attack him with both. See what they want to do. They can block here, that's fine. Uh, yep, and we'll pass. Uh, Stone Coil Serpent, I think, going to be very, very helpful here, but we'll see. Um, interesting. Okay. It's a bit of an odd deck. Um, let's do this. Tear it down. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, it has death touch, so they can spin that here. That doesn't matter. It still dies. Um, we'll just attack him with this. All right. See what they want to do. Uh, we're under threat management. Um, so we really, really have to make sure that they don't get too many, you know, death touchers out or anything like that. But um. Vivian helps a little bit, but with things like this out, it is going to be a bit tricky. We do have heroic intervention if we'd like. We can, we'll figure that out. Death Touch Tribal. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's see. Well, should have, uh, should have put a counter on that first. That was a bit of a mistake. Um, not going to do anything about it. That's fine. Let's do this, and let's do this. <laughs> Stomping time. Uh, yeah. Let's play this for five. Hmm. Um, yeah. We'll pass. This has trample, which is really crucial here. Um, they do get to gain a bunch of life here, though, which is going to be kind of annoying. Um, with, uh, with the Hooded Blight thing, they've got a way to kind of deal with whatever. And I'm not going to block. I'm going to let it happen. Um, you seen the last of that might be incorrect. I don't know, but, uh, they were pretty much guaranteed to get it. So death touch tribal. Very, very good. Um, huh. Pop collector, huh? Let's see what they do. Let's attack all. Let's just see. That's fine. That's also fine. Um, does this have death touch? Yes. Do I care that it has death touch? Say no. I don't know if that's correct or not, but we're gonna get in for as much as we can here. Um, they get their little guy. That's fine. Let's play this. And we'll play this for four. Gives us a couple things that we can trade off if need be. If they do attack in with both of these, I'm kind of willing to trade off. I don't know if that's correct. I'll be honest. Um, but they're in kind of an odd position where they've got quite a lot of value on the field. Now, we do have heroic intervention, so chances are we could just wait. Um, and that might be better. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Got a planes, that's fine. Sure, sure. 
Um, that happens regardless. Hmm. Do we just trade here? I kind of think so. It's just a problem card in general. Uh, but this gives this three, it gets it up to three, three, but then also has trample. So that's good. Um, or excuse me, almost has trample. Uh, let's do this. All right, so. Hmm. I'm gonna talk with these two. Let's see what they do. That's it. Maybe. Um, I'm leaving this back. I don't know if that's correct or not. We're we're gonna try. <clears throat> this is a cool deck. Uh, I like the Death Touch theme. So we played a similar. Deck. I say similar in that um, it was very life game focused. Um, whoops. This one less so, but uh, definitely interesting. I don't know though. I, I kind of liked the other better uh, in that it was a little bit more efficient uh, when it came to how it did what it did. Um, yeah, you got it. That's fine. Let's do this. Ooh, you're quite good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this out there. Uh, let's do this. Let's get a Reacher. I'm gonna attack all. <laughs> um, let's just go for it. We have to at some point here. They're gonna kill us soon, so we do have to just go for it. And they obviously have to block here as much as they can. Um, do we... Because they still have to block one more thing. Um, so they're going to lose their, lose their healer's hawk, excuse me, um, which is good. I don't know why they don't want to block the questing beast so much, but that's fine. Um, okay. And now we've got a reacher to be on defense here. So um, that's really important for us, obviously, for very clear reasons. And Monster's Advocate, really, really good because we can play off the top of our deck if we've got creatures. So like there's a chance that we just get really lucky. Um, obviously right now we just have another Vivian, which is really unfortunate, but uh, we can actually just activate Vivian, play another Vivian and get another token out if need be. So um, that might be something that we do, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, trample is also very important here. So I, I was considering Trample, but I think given that they've got flyers, we need the reach. Uh, and so um, that's a very strong push towards getting the 3-3 Reacher over the Trampler. Uh, Vigilance, I mean, all of them are good, but given the board state. Okay. Sure. Um, it's a good card. Paradise Druid, huh? Um, Paradise Druid's not that great. Uh, hmm. Let's see what we want to do. So they can just kill this, or excuse me, um, kind of go ham with this. They do have to block pretty much everything. That's fine. They can give that death touch. That's totally fine. We've got heroic intervention, so I'm kind of not worried about that. Um, okay. Sure. It's heroic. Gives it indestructible, which is important. We still have death touch, so this still gets to die. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and play this out. Let's go ahead and play this. Uh, we'll get another reacher. Just so they can't deal with one. Um, they have to deal with both. Um, I think that's the correct play. There we go. Wow, stark contrast to uh, to video one. We got three wins in this one. Um, I do really like this deck when it works. Uh, I I think it's tough when you to like fairly evaluate. Oh, let's uh, let's open a pack. It's tough to fairly evaluate a deck when you get mana screwed the first couple games. Like, and that's not me trying to be like, oh, we just got mana screwed. We you know I don't suck at playing. Um, 
that I mean we we very much legitimately got mana screwed in two of the first games so um unfortunately that that did make it a little bit trickier but what I will say is mono green as it's always been for the last little while is a very strong archetype I mean we've got a lot of really really strong things going on in this list and now we've got more tech pieces um I mentioned in this video the random upside of having hexproof from black uh, having from protection from multicolored on Stone Coil Serpent, uh, the the hexproof on even just Paradise Druid can be really really important, especially if you're mutating onto it a Gem Razor or something along those lines. So there's a lot of random just like goodness. Uh, scavenging is obviously great against graveyard decks, which is great to have right now because there are a lot of those. Um, and we even saw there, you know, they revivaled back a uh, a, a knight and like. Being able to just eat that card in response, uh, given a different board state and different mana, would have been great. Um, and so it's it's a nice deck because while it is just a beat face kind of deck and a very straightforward kind of deck, I think what's great about it is that you've got outs to a lot of different stuff. Uh, and I think that that's worth noting. I think that now with Corset 2021, we've got even more options. Uh, we did not necessarily have all those before. So it's great to see that. I'm, I'm really excited. I think Mono Green is as strong as ever. It's not um, It's not changed hugely, uh, but it does have a little bit more of that toolbox feel, uh, which I really, really like. I, I, I like a deck to have the outs that it needs, so to speak. So uh, I really enjoyed this one. I hope that you guys did. Please, of course, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below if you did enjoy it. Uh, and make sure to subscribe if you're not already. We do have uh, our Discord open right now, so if anybody wants to come join in, hang out with us, please do. Uh, we've got, as always, a great group of people there, so thank you to them uh, for for really making our community awesome. Uh, it's, it's all thanks to you guys. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.